Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery in our shooting center today to tell you about a brand new bow. You've probably heard a little bit about it, but this is the Matthews title. Brand new target bow from the folks at Matthews for 2024. Of course, they had what they called a soft launch, which wasn't much, which wasn't very soft. We saw Dan McCarthy and Levi Morgan shooting this bow, duking it out head to head at the ASA Classic in Coleman, Alabama in August. What a debut for this bow, but now we're bringing it to the masses so we can talk about it and tell you about all the cool features on this bow. Okay, so first thing about the title, there are two versions of it. What I'm holding here is the Title 38, and there is, of course, the Title 36. That refers to the axle to axle length. This one is gonna be 38 inches axle to axle. So lots of cool new features in here. We're gonna run them down for you. First off, there is a new cam. So this cam is what Matthews is calling the switch weight target cam. So you can tell by that name, switch weight. We have seen switch weight technology from Matthews in their hunting bows for several years now. What that means is that you can change the draw weight on these bows by changing the modules. No, you know, in the past, if you had 60 pounds and you wanted to make that bow 70 pounds, you had to get different limbs for it. Not with switch weight. All you have to do is change these mods. And these mods control several things. First, obviously they control your draw weight. So with the switch weight target mods, you're gonna have peak draw weights of 50, 55, 60, 65, and 70 pounds. Now, it's also gonna control your draw length. And between the two bows, you're gonna have a total draw length of 25 inches, that's gonna be on the 36 only, up to 31 inches, that's gonna be on the 38 only. It's also gonna, the mods also will control your let off. You're gonna pick what let off you want between 70, 75, and 80%. So all of that is mod based. And so obviously as I'm talking about the mods for draw length, they are specific in half inch increments. You're gonna have a, you know, a 29 inch mod, a 29 and a half inch mod. You're gonna pick your let off and your draw weight. So Matthews uh, is one of those companies that believes in the mod base for your draw length. Other companies, you know, have rotating modules. With rotating modules, oftentimes you have winners and losers. In other words, you get peak efficiency at certain draw lengths, other draw lengths, your efficiency is gonna suffer. Matthews wants to have every draw length absolutely with peak efficiency. And the only way that they have found to do that is through the mods. So that's why they stick with that mod-based system. Um, now, some other things you're gonna notice on the cam here. First off, you're gonna see this brass weight right here. This is what Matthews calls the perimeter weight, and it serves two purposes. First, as you can imagine, having that extra weight right there helps that cam come around, helps with that speed. The uh, 38, the Title 38, is gonna have an IBO speed rating of up to 330 feet per second with a seven inch brace height. That's pretty fast. So that brass weight is gonna help that cam come around, build some speed. It's also gonna offset some vibration uh, that comes through at the shot. Now, um, you're gonna notice here, we do, this is a cross-centric cam, something Matthews has had for a while, but what they haven't had on their target bow is this yoke system right here with the harness. Uh, in the TRX series, you had um, cams where, you know, there was the cable was connected to one side, to the wheel on one side, and it went down and it actually attached to the cam. With the yoke system, you've got it on both sides. That helps with cam stability, keeps that thing upright and evens that pressure on the axles by having the yokes there. And, you know, probably the most noticeable thing, uh, there's lots of noticeable things about the title, but unique, haven't seen before. The axle here is actually on top of the limb, 
rather than running through the limb. So what that allowed Matthews to do is really maximize the efficiency of these limbs. And you can see, these are super short limbs. That's because they didn't have to, you know, add material at the back of the limb in order to run the axle through it. They connected the axle on top of the, of the limbs there. So again, super short, and these limbs are super wide. Those short, wide limbs, first of all, the width, that helps with the stability, which this thing is ridiculously stable at full draw. But those shorter limbs, you know, that goes to the efficiency. In the old days, we had really long limbs. They kind of wasted a lot of energy between the drawing and the firing. Those shorter limbs, you know, these limbs don't flex very much, maximum efficiency. That's one of the benefits of Matthews putting that axle on top of the uh, limb right there. It still uses the top hat system. If you're unfamiliar with top hats, that's a spacer between the cam and the limb tip. There are different thicknesses, so you can move that cam left and right through the top hat system. They maintained it here uh, in the title. So with the top hat system, if you wanna know more about that, we do have a video where we talk about top hats and how to change them out. You can check that video out. But something new here, of course, this uh, rubber strip right here, resistant phase damping. We saw Matthews introduce that last year in the phase four hunting bows, primarily hunting. We did see Levi Morgan and Jeff Hopkins shoot them in competition. Uh, but that is how they are attacking vibration right at the source, in the limb. So technically, right here on top, these are four limbs with that rubber damping in material. There's in between, there's one, two, three, four, and then four again on the bottom. So each one of these bows actually has eight limbs. But you can just see the width of this uh, limb pocket here. That's one of the first things I noticed. This thing is massively wide. And I noticed in shooting it, you know, I'm certainly not a professional, but I did get to talk to Levi Morgan and Dan McCarthy about that. And both of them said that this is probably the most stable target bow they've ever held. They just said this thing just held exactly where they wanted it, nice and stable. They didn't have to fight it. Um, so that wide, short limbs, getting maximum efficiency, super stable at full draw. Now, coming down the bow, we're gonna see a lot more features that we've been seeing from Matthews. You can see my sight here. This is what they call bridge lock. So my sight is actually mounted in a dovetail cutout in the riser. It's going through the riser. That helps with the stability. You know, you don't have to worry about this thing coming loose. Uh, just makes it rock solid and also helps a bit with vibration. You still do have um, your standard sight bracket mounts if you don't have one of the bridge lock uh, compatible sights. You still can mount a sight on the outside uh, as standard. At the rest, we are gonna have the uh, options for mounting an integrate style rest, which I have here, the QAD TRI, that is a, a blade style target rest, and you can see it clamps onto the dovetail in the back. Or if you have a bolt-on rest, you still have that option as well. So I should mention you are gonna see the slanted cable arm. This is what Matthews calls the center guard cable arm. We have not seen that in the target line. We've seen it only in the hunting world. And what that does is it puts the connection point for the cables where they roll through exactly in the middle of the bow. That just helps with your cam timing. Um, sometimes you'd have to time one cam a little faster because the cable arm was slid up. The other thing it does is it puts it right where you're gonna knock your arrow. So you got maximum fletching clearance right where you need it. You know, if it was up higher, it starts to come in and you can have uh, fletching contact. With the center guard, you don't have to worry about that. Continuing down, we have again the bridge lock mount for stabilizers. Front stabilizer here, you can see I have this mounted into the position 
for the stabilizer, the bridge lock cutout. This is one of the new Matthews um, Target bridge lock stabilizers. This is a 30 inch. This is a carbon rod. There are uh, other versions that came out last year were more for hunting. They were aluminum. This is carbon. This sucker is stiff. Um, and you can see on that stabilizer while we're talking about it, you can see all those cutouts on the length. First off, it's super skinny, but then you got the cutout. So you can imagine um, that this has much less wind resistance. It's got the new interlink weight system um, that Matthews brought out last year. These things just connect. There's one Allen screw underneath and you just stack these one right on top of the other. They have their own unique connection system. No more stacking multiple uh, rods through your weights. You don't have to do that. The weights themselves connect to each other. And I have that uh, on my, um, for my side rod as well. This is a special uh, V-bar that is a bridge lock V-bar. You can see the rod goes in just like it would out front here. So again, it's another bridge lock stabilizer. Now, while we're down here, how about this? We have our anchor weight. This is an eight ounce piece of brass on the bottom of the bow that just really makes this thing stand up. It is removable, so if you decide you don't like it, too much weight, you can pop that off, but it is there to keep that bow vertical. You know, anytime you twist to the side, this bow just wants to stand up. Obviously, that's what we want as target archers. So that is the anchor weight that does come on the bow. Now, something else you're gonna notice here, new from Matthews, right here, this says match. Matthews has done away with the zebra bow strings. Now we have the match bow strings. They went through their string building department and completely overhauled it, come out with the brand new match strings. They came up with their own proprietary blend of BCY fibers. BCY is, you know, the industry standard for bow strings these days. And now they are building premium top quality strings. So what I can tell you is, I mean, I don't have much time behind this bow, but you can see my peep sight there. I put that in brand new. Brand new strings usually take a couple shots and then you get some twists. That thing hasn't moved since I put it in there. Um, so these things are really well built. I went down, looked at the serving, it's all top notch. Again, that's something that Matthews worked on. They knew they wanted to build better strings, so they did, and now we have the match strings. All right, so at the handle here, this title, it does come with the engage grip. You can see right here where it says shot sense. Stay tuned because Matthews is gonna be coming out with a special grip. It will still be the engage grip, but it's gonna have a sensor built into it that will connect to an app that will tell you about, you know, things like how steady you're holding, where your grip pressure is. Uh, just one of those new technologies that we're seeing that you can attach to the bows to track your performance, see where you might need some work, how well you're holding, things like that. So shot sense, stay tuned for that. Uh, it's not out yet, but Matthews tells us it will be out shortly. All right, now for shooting the Matthews Title 38. What are the things that I noticed? Um, I give you, I'll give you my impressions in a second here, but as I mentioned, we got to talk to Levi Morgan and Dan McCarthy at the ASA Classic. They were competing the highest level with this bow. Let's hear what they had to say about it. I love these pockets. Uh, changed everything from basically the connection point here. It's a lot more stable. Um, wider pockets, wider platform, less vibration. We changed basically the uh, axle system here you can you can now tighten it and not over tighten the bearings you really can't over tighten it um, the cams are different the mods are different the way they load the way they load on the mods they're all switch weight mods now in five pound increments from 50 to 70 on the target line so i spent a few days behind it just really grouping and shoot at different distances different angles and just trying to get a feel for how it acted and initially and still it is it shoots the best line probably of any bow i've ever shot i mean my lines went from this out to 50 yards which are really good to like unbelievable and so 
One of the things I noticed is the, it gives you feedback. Where a lot of the boats now, there's no hand shock, there's no, everybody's trying to get away from it. And this is like vibration free, and I think it could be the bridge lock stabilizers too that are giving me some of that. But they're so rigid, like there's no bounce in the stabilizer. That you feel the shock in a good way. It's hard to explain, but like if you if you break left or, or have a little pressure off, like it gives you that feedback and you know why you missed. There's a little more room for these guys to change the, va the back end feel valley area um, of this mod. I prefer it a lot over the TRX. TRX is a great system, um, but the this one actually stacks really, really well against it and it's kind of a little more sticky to me. So I'm able to relax on the back end a little bit uh, more than I could with my TRX. The stabilizers are something that to me has made a huge difference because before if you order a 30 inch bar, that's what you're stuck with, right? You got a 30, you got a 12 inch back, that's what you're stuck with. So then you're constantly trying to play with weights to get it perfect. And then you get your mass weight right, and you need a maybe a 31 inch bar that they don't make, right? Or a 29 inch bar that they don't make. But this one, I ordered a 30, and once I get the mass weight where I want on the bow, I can fine tune the length and the leverage of that, those bars on the front and the back. All right, now for me, what do I notice when I picked up the Title 38? Well, um, we were able to attend the pro staff meeting where Matthews had their soft launch at the ASA Classic. So I got to hear from the engineers and from some of the other folks. And one of the things that they kept talking about was when you come back to full draw and you hit full draw, that um, the back wall just feels more solid. And I did notice that. This, I have the 75% mods here, um, so a little more aggressive than 80%, but what I noticed was coming back into it that I was able to stay contacted with it. So in talking with the engineer, Mark Hayes, he was saying that they did design the cam a little bit different, and it is definitely different. I compared it to my TRX cam. And so what it is, is they, change the shape of it a little bit so that when you do come to full draw, it's easier to stay, what I'll say, in contact with the back wall. In other words, it doesn't want to creep forward. When, if you can just maintain some pressure there, you can stay in contact with it. And I noticed with the TRX cam, if I like got a little bit lazy, I could come off that back wall and not know it. With this one, I can definitely feel that I'm always in contact with it. So that was definitely something I liked. The shot, at the shot, now I have the full stabilizer set on it. It just has great feedback. There is not any of that um, hand shock that uh, I'll call negative feedback. In other words, the bow only wants to move forward. Um, and if I make a mistake, I can tell what I'm doing. It's kind of the feedback that you look for. It's not just, um, f you know, feedback where you shoot the bow, oh, and it goes off and you feel a little bit of hand shock and you don't really know what happened. With this bow, when you release, okay, if I'm a little bit right, I know it, I can feel it, I can see it in the shot. So it gives good feedback so that I know what I'm doing. I'm able to tell what I'm doing Obviously, that's good for me to correct on the next shot. Um, so just, it held like a dream. Um, so I have, you know, up here, I have the same scope set up that I had on my 3D bow coming indoors here. It's, that pin is sitting a little bit more solid for me than it did on my TRX bows. So I really like that. That weight, that perimeter weight down low, I can definitely feel the effect of that. I don't have a ton of weight on my stabilizers, on my uh, side rod here. I didn't need it because this bow wants to sit upright so much. I didn't need a ton of weight uh, on my stabilizers. I got that eight ounce weight down here. So I didn't, I don't really have a bunch of weight. I got five, weight, uh, five ounces out front and eight ounces on the back. That's all I got. And this bow sits and holds really nice. So the title 38 and 36, uh, with that new switch weight technology, what that's gonna allow you to do is, you know, so many times we have, you might have a 60 pound bow that you shoot indoors and for any USA archery, world archery stuff, because they have a 60 pound max. 
Well, then you're gonna go out and shoot ASA, IBO. You want 70 pounds, you want that speed. Well, on previous bows, you'd have to have two bows. Now, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is buy another set of mods. These things are way less expensive than a set of limbs, and you know you wanna change limbs, you gotta break the whole bow down in order to do that. These, you just undo some screws, swap the mods, and you're ready to go. So you can have one bow set up many different ways for many different games, field, indoor. You know, the 38 here, this is gonna be um, a great choice, especially for folks who have that a little bit longer draw length. Um, you know, you, you can set this up as an indoor bow. That 36 inch uh, bow, the Title 36, uh, that one goes down to 25 inches. That might be better for archers who have that shorter draw length. You want that speed, that'll be a great 3D bow, but you also can shoot it indoors as well. So Matthews, Title 38 and 36, Great to see a new target bow with some new technologies out from the folks at Matthews. And we already know that this thing can perform at the highest levels. As I mentioned, Dan and Levi went head to head at that ASA Classic. Dan ended up winning the ASA Classic on the last arrow. He also won Shooter of the Year. Obviously those guys had a lot on the line they believed enough in it to switch. They didn't have a ton of time with these bows, but that's what they were able to do with it. So the Title 38, Title 36, gonna be a great high performing target bow. If you like this video, give us thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.